Well, it looks like it's about to happen. The Oakland Athletics ready to announce temporary residency in Sacramento. And I will go over the AAA stadium that opened in the year 2000 that very likely will host the Oakland Athletics, an MLB team, for three years from 2025 through 2027. This is not a surprise at all. This news came out last night. You can see the tweet breaking. The A's in Sacramento are finalizing an agreement to play temporarily in the capital city beginning next season. There will likely be an official announcement as soon as tomorrow, which is today now, or on Friday. So the A's, again, guys, I stress to people, this was very likely happening. It was going to be a minor league park. It makes too much sense. The only question is, where was it going to be? Nevada, possibly Utah, or maybe Sacramento. I believe this enables the A's to keep most of their TV money because they're not leaving the state. They will be in Sacramento very likely. It should be official soon, I would guess. And it is a AAA park. And it's very interesting when you look at this stadium, Shutter Health Park, which has a total capacity, if you include the lawn out in right field, of around 14K. So imagine if they had maybe some extended seating, they could get to around 17 or 18K. Although for the athletics, let's be honest, it's such a crazy situation. They're going to be averaging this year at the Coliseum probably under 8,000, maybe under 7,000. This minor league stadium seats double that. So them moving into this minor league stadium is going to help their attendance, I would guess. There's going to be more of a demand in Sacramento for an MLB team, even though, let's be honest, the A's are probably still not going to be good next year this is a good situation for everyone involved they're going to sell it out every night it's an intimate environment significant upgrade over the coliseum if this does end up happening and i do think it will enable again <clears throat> the athletics to keep most of that tv money not that anybody cares about that of course i'm sure people don't like that but either way it seems like this is the direction we are going in terms of this and then that sets up 2025, 2026, 2027 to be played at this AAA park. I do wonder if the A's would consider playing a few games in Nevada at Nevada's AAA park, which is brand new state of the art, maybe in 2026 or 2027 to get the fans ready. Although if this is a, a full agreement, you know, you don't want to move your team's home stadium. So I'm guessing they will just be at this AAA park for all three years the park does open in 2025. It reminds me of the potential development. If you guys remember, Sacramento wanted to build an MLB stadium right next to what was formerly Sleep Train Arena, and they started building it, and the foundation was abandoned, which basically made it an abandoned wasteland and kind of like an artificial man-made pond because it went abandoned. Pretty crazy situation. One of the only scenarios in North American sports history where a full-scale stadium gets abandoned during construction. Now, we've seen it in China. We've seen it in other parts of the world. But Sacramento finally will get their MLB team, albeit only for three years. And I don't think this is a situation where Sacramento becomes an option in terms of an MLB expansion team. Although, who knows? Maybe if Sacramento shows significant interest in the A's, if they do get them, because nothing's been officially announced. Let me just say that this is the morning of Thursday, April 4th. But things could be announced today or tomorrow, guys. I would expect it to happen. I've said for a few weeks and maintained the opinion that it makes the most sense to go to a AAA park. And if they do it in California, in terms of the finances it would make the most sense as well. And then we shift our focus. Well, if the A's move here, what happens to the Coliseum? Uh, I think it's pretty much guaranteed a wrecking ball is coming to the Coliseum very soon, possibly as early as 2025, 2026. That area will be completely redeveloped. Oakland Arena, I would expect to come down as well. Although there has been a little bit of renewed interest with Oakland Arena hosting different events, things like that. The exterior of it is just completely decrepit. They're going to completely redesign that entire complex. If I had to guess, I would say it's going to be some type of community park area, maybe with a bunch of soccer fields. I know that was pitched as an idea for a redevelopment of the Coliseum site, but it's just the Coliseum 
Oakland Arena, which is formerly or- Oracle, and then a sea of parking, which is obviously obsolete at this point when it comes to the transit situation in these cities. If they were to build a new MLB stadium, undoubtedly. I mean, just take a look at the Howard ter- Terminal proposals. None of them have any parking. Uh, it's all based on public transport, and, and also parking lot deserts surrounding stadiums are very ugly. So I think this is a good sign for MLB. Get the A's in an intimate environment where they're going to sell it out every single game. The capacity is only 10K, but it's expandable to 14K. And again, you have to wonder, will they maybe put on extended seating on to get it to 17 or 18K if they really want to? Maybe put some seating out in right field. There's some different things they might decide to do because this is not a one-year scenario. They're going to be there three years and it's very easy if you give them the off season, you know, after this year to put some potential seating in there and really make this a nice intimate minor league stadium. So that is the situation when it comes to the A's. We could get an announcement today, maybe tomorrow. Right now, Sacramento, the clear front runner. Seems like announcement is intimate, but if it's not Sacramento, I think it'll be either Utah in terms of a minor league stadium with their new stadium in South Jordan or possibly Nevada, but Nevada is not likely based on the climate there. They would have to play all their games at night, including on Sunday, which really doesn't work. The other thing you have to think logistically is where does the AAA team go that plays here? I think the Rivercats, where would they play? They would probably just uh, maybe share it or, or maybe go somewhere else. I mean, it's a AAA team. It's not, you know, the end of the world if they have to play at a, a worse stadium to facilitate the A's playing there because this is a significant upgrade for the A's going from the Coliseum to this. The attendance, believe it or not, I'm sure is going to be higher. And it's not surprising. I mean, the A's fans are boycotting John Fisher. He's moving the team. He's actively tanking their team and he's been doing it for the past few years. So that's understandable. But MLB knew that they had to get the A's out of the Coliseum. And I think John Fisher knew it as well, but he still wanted his TV money. And so maybe this will help him keep it because the team is still in California. Now, in reading up on this further, the owner of the AAA Rivercats is also the owner of the Sacramento Kings. And apparently, he's got a very good relationship with John Fisher. The There's articles insinuating that maybe... He's auditioning Sacramento to be a future MLB expansion candidate. I don't think that's going to happen, honestly, with the congestion in California already. You could theoretically say, well, you know, California is going to lose the A's, so they need to gain a team. But I don't know. You look at the Los Angeles Angels. I could see them moving to a different part of California, honestly, in the early 2030s rather than Sacramento getting an MLB team. Although it doesn't hurt if you're able to sell out this stadium, the AAA stadium for three straight years and show legitimate interest. That can only help your case in terms of getting an expansion team. Remember, Utah made this big pitch in courting the A's because they wanted the team. They knew their fan base was desperate for professional baseball. You're talking about a AAA stadium that's brand new, state-of-the-art they're building in Utah, and you're going to sell it out every game, and that's only going to give you more momentum and give you a better case in terms of expansion. So Sacramento, this doesn't hurt at all in terms of trying to get your name into the dialogue of a potential MLB expansion city we can understand there's a relationship there with the two owners John Fisher and the owner of the River Cats but I certainly don't think this guarantees Sacramento an expansion team however we have been wondering who is the western city that's going to step up we thought it was going to be Salt Lake City maybe it will be But could we see a scenario where Salt Lake City gets an NHL expansion team, which seems more likely they don't get an MLB team, and then the MLB team ends up being possibly in a place like Sacramento, maybe more so in the middle of the country, like Austin. Of course, when it comes to MLB expansion, we're already kind of presuming that the first expansion team is going to be in Nashville, and if it's not Nashville, maybe Charlotte. Or, you know, somewhere else in North Carolina like Raleigh. So, either way, guys, we will see the developments here. Seems like the A's are headed to Sacramento at the AAA ballpark. Will this help Sacramento get an expansion team? It certainly cannot hurt. 2025, 2026, 2027, the A's very likely to be playing at this intimate AAA venue. Either way, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on X. Link to that is always in the description.